It's underwritten by Karen Buckwald Wright, and it, the original is in the George Washington Presidential Library in Mount Vernon, Virginia. What's interesting is the title of the painting is Divine Providence. And I've, the underwriter sent me there, Ed, for about a month and two weeks mm -hmm. working with the scholars. And, and, and they're all Harvard professor, or, you know, grad do doctors in, in history. And Divine Providence goes back to the Old Testament, the order of things. Mm -hmm. But George Washington had a different vision and interpretation of Divine Pro Providence. He looked at this continent as God's corporate headquarters, God's foothold to implement civil liberties and freedoms throughout the world. And when you have a cardinal and a bishop say, you know what, Ray, George Washington was absolutely right, because had this nation not been in place, mm. you wouldn't have a free Germany, Italy, France, Japan, South Korea, Great Britain would have fell. There'd be no, none of us, no Ed Henry, nothing. Right. The, Imagine the, the world the, without Ed Henry. Wow. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you know what? Dramatic. It's, it is dramatic. <laughs> it really is. It'd be, Ed, it'd be unrecognizable. Yeah. But you also, in the same breath, got us got to make note that it came at a great cost to sure. the American natives and slaves. Unknowingly, unwillingly, they are part of that huge story. And the, the story of this painting, Karen, if you look back, you see the 13 stars ghosted over the wheat field, the humble beginnings. And you see the stripes going through. The young girl is across the path. She represents a generation yet to come, women who are the bearers of life, women who procure humanity's future, a generation yet to come, right? The next generation of America. And pardon me, I love the flag on her right wrist. Beautiful. She's holding the, the journey. In fact, one of the, in fact, Ron was there. Ron, do you remember the one Harvard professor said one of the great, the things I like the most about the painting is the representation of the journey that we've taken. No yeah. nation's perfect in the history of history. And she's releasing 13 doves, a separate but combined journey of the individual colonies. The first dove has an olive branch for peace right. and a ribbon on the talons. Many times before peace comes war. On that ribbon reads Thomas Paine's first letter in the series called American Crisis, of which Washington stood on the banks of the Delaware and motivated his troops.